What's up? So I came here to see my man John. Him and Sharice have been taking care of me for a couple of years now, making sure I stay looking good, feeling good. Uh, today we're getting ready to do some blood work to assess where I'm at, as well as get an IV. So and the IV has vitamins, it has amino acids, it's uh, do all the things that I need to do on a weekly basis to try to stay trimmed and be my best. That's right, man. We want to make sure that I want to is... look like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he looked, he looked in some of the mirror. This guy's like an Adonis right here, right? So with, you know, with that, he's traveling around all around, around the country. We'll make sure his immune system is boosted. Um, he's feeling his best. Obviously, he's looking his best all the way around. So that's what Titan Medical Center does for Thaddeus, our good friend. So we appreciate him and everything he's doing out there. Big, big things. Um, and let's get this guy making sure he's 110% ready to go all the time. Like the Adonis, he really is. So all I right. can get some arms like this. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Try to get that. Wait, this guy's got like 21. Let's go. Come on. All right, guys, so we just got done here. My man Thaddeus got all hooked up. Yeah, what's her name? Uh, Jessica. Jessica, first yeah. try. Yeah. I mean, I'm very hard to get blood from. Yes. And Jessica did it. And it's when it thinned her 90-day threshold. The one thing I do need to point out is that it took her a little minute to rip the tape off. So, <laughs> uh, she's excellent as a nurse practitioner. Yes. We need to get her in the weight room. Absolutely. In the new weight room. Oh man, she, she's going to be going crazy because man, this girl is a fitness nut too and a nurse practitioner. So she's got all the knowledge of the medical side along with the health side, right along with it to give you guys the best results. So yeah, she's great. She's great as a phlebotomist too. So she's really, really good. So I'm glad she got you. She's, you know, I think a little delicate with this. Or or in our industry, we call it vampires, right? Because yeah. they're drawing blood, taking blood from you. But uh, want to make sure our man Thaddeus is all good. He'll be getting his results back in like two, three business days. And we'll be able to hook him up, get him all set up with a personalized regimen, feeling good, looking good, and performing his best because that's what he does. I gotta be lean and trim because I'm getting ready to do some real big things and I wanna be able to maximize my time and my gym and my gym working out, but also to be able to keep running around with my sons and my daughter. That's true. Because uh, I can't let them outwork me. I think, Obviously, I gotta yeah. set a good example. I think a lot of people forget that too because yeah. you're traveling around and they see what you're doing there. He's got a family, right? Yeah. He's got sons. I mean, he's got the whole night. So he's got a whole other side of him that he's taking care of too, along with being who he is out front of the public, right? So it's crazy how you do it. And God bless you, man. Because you know what? It takes a lot to do. Yeah. It really does. So I just turned 45. I know I don't look it, but I definitely, definitely not. not look it in about six to eight weeks. Dang. We're wrapping it up. We're about to get the vest. So 45, here we go. <laughs> See, I might be on stage at the Olympia or something. See, here we go. All right, all right, guys, check it out. We're gonna make sure Titus is all good to go. Later.
body ready? Titan Medical Center can help you shed those extra pounds and tighten up. Here are some of our Titan therapies that can help you with weight loss. Injectable semi-glutide, Aries therapy, injectable peptide AOD 9604, ECA Stack Plus, Fat Burner Cream, Titan Complete, Titan Up, and more. You can call or text us at Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220 to find out which weight loss therapies and options would be best for you. You can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Let our staff and medical providers guide you to get back on track to your weight loss goals. What's up, guys? John here from Titan Medical Center, and you know what? I want to answer a very commonly asked question to me, and it's, John, should I take a multivitamin? And my answer to them all the time is yes, right? I think that a multivitamin of some sort is going to be giving you greater health benefits and a better quality of life, right? Because we need these different things like vitamins and a variety of different vitamins we do need, right? And the next question is, is what should I take, John? What's the best multivitamin out there? And when I talk to him about this, I start looking at some facts. And when we start looking at some facts, we know this. If we start taking oral vitamins, anything orally, 90% of it gets cut away by the liver, your digestive tract, and you're really not absorbing your full potential. Then we gotta look at what the source is. So what is that multivitamin, right? How many fillers does it have in it? Is it really have in it what it says on the label. And we really don't know that, okay? Uh, and this has happened a lot through the years with different supplement companies not putting in the bottle what's on the label. And they're doing it a disservice to you, uh, and it's fraud, okay? And they get dealt with here or there. Some people get caught up and some people don't. So you really gotta know where the source is coming from. Now with this, I always recommend doing an injectable multi-blend vitamin, amino acid blend of some sort, and we have these at Titan Medical Center for you guys. Um, but you know, being able to retain a lot more of what you're taking, this is gonna give you a greater benefit. So when we talk about injections versus oral supplementation, we talk about up to 90% retention and a way faster transportation rate, okay? When you take in something orally, it has to get filtered through your stomach and the liver. Your liver is your filter to your body. And like we talked about earlier, your digestive tract starts breaking down these different things. So your absorption level is not gonna be that good. And then getting into your, your bloodstream or your system is gonna be a heck of a lot slower. Think of your digestive tract, 45 minutes, maybe an hour to two hours of getting these things in there and getting them moving. When we talk about an injectable version, a little slight insulin needle like this is gonna go in. Once you inject it, it's getting into the muscle and then it's gonna get into the bloodstream and start distributing through the body and getting utilized, giving you a better healthy benefit. So with this, the reason that I say, I would probably recommend that for everybody out there to do is because our food sources these days are not what they used to be, okay? And to get the proper nutrition, right, all the way around, um, like all the nutrients you need, the macros, like your carbs, your fats, right, your proteins, and all these different vitamins and amino acids, you would have to literally probably sit down, measure it out per day, and probably eat all day long. A lot of people don't do this, okay? A lot of people don't get healthy meals in all day long. They might not get one healthy meal in. They're probably eating McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wawa, whatever's around them, whatever's convenient and fast. Even in the frozen food section, have you guys looked at the back and looked at the ingredients in there of what it's made of and all the chemicals that are in it and how much sodium and all this other garbage that's in it and you guys are consuming this? This is the problem. This is ourselves or us not giving ourselves what we need. Okay, and by this I mean all the nutrients, the nutrition factor that we talk about, this is that. And this is giving yourself what it needs, your body what it needs to function properly and to do what it needs to do. So every time, 110%, I'm always gonna say yes to a multivitamin. The only thing that I always question is the source and make sure that is good and that it's working properly. Because if it's not gonna work and you're taking it, you probably shouldn't even be taking it because it's probably doing more damage than good, okay? It's probably putting stress in your liver because liver, it's having to go through there and process and all this other garbage. 
the fillers and all that. So make sure you're getting a really, really good source. And I promise you guys, you'll feel better. Now, all vitamins are usually water soluble. So that means that you can take in the highest amount you possibly can. And if it's over in abundance, it's gonna excrete it out, right? Through your urine and stuff like that. Now, there's other vitamins out there like vitamin D and vitamin E. Those are oil-based and stay inside your body for a lot longer. Now, if you take too much vitamin D, an extensive amount over and over and over, you could get toxicity from that. So just make sure that's something you can blood check, right? A lab with and see, hey, listen, where's my vitamin D level? Now, I'm telling you guys, most of the people that we see with blood tests are literally on the bottom end of the scale of vitamin D or deficient. And we live here in Florida, okay? I like to go out in the sun, I'm out there all the time. Even in summertime, when I go out all the time, I'm so tan, I have literally came back vitamin D deficient. That's because our body is not utilizing what it's supposed to be getting from the sun and breaking it down in the mechanism inside our body. Who knows why? We'll find out very soon, probably shortly. But that's wouldn't have been a big thing, okay? So make sure you're looking at that. Um, you know, as, as far as the multivitamin goes, you know, you want to make sure that you're looking at different things. So you want a broad spectrum. You want to just not look at maybe vitamin C and like five or six things. Because literally, the biggest defense to this is, is that people will say that I can get everything from food. And like I said before, you're gonna have to sit down, measure everything out, make sure your food sources are all good, organic, you're getting all those nutrients in there, and you're getting what you need. Um, but most of the time, that's not gonna happen, okay? Because people are busy. I know professional athletes, that's all they get paid to do, eat, train, and compete, and they still can't get it. So what makes you think that you can, okay? I, I, you know, just let's take the ego down a little bit and, and really think about what's best for us. And that really is, getting everything your body needs, to run optimally, uh, effectively, and efficiently daily, improving your quality of life, and improving the quality of life of people around you. So that's the, that's the answer to the question, guys. So a multivitamin is definitely recommended. If you guys need to get a hold of something that's gonna be very good for you guys, and very good effectively, and transportation rate, and higher absorbency, contact Titan Medical Center, call or text 727-389-3220. Check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. And uh, my two recommendations might be like Titan Complete, maybe some Hercules Potion, but there might be other ones that you might be interested in. So call us today, text us today, or look on the website and find which one's gonna be the best for you. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Fresh off the plane from Switzerland and back in the Tampa area. Couldn't be more delighted as ever. We get to visit a beautiful country out there. But I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing like home. I am so happy to be home. <laughs> I love my home. Beautiful country though. <laughs> beautiful Tampa. Beautiful country. Tampa's beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, Tampa's beautiful. Yeah. We love it here. For sure, 100% wouldn't live anywhere else. But it was good to see yeah, another, you know, another place, man. I mean, it literally looked like a painting, like everywhere you went. It yeah. looked like a fake, like cropped out photo. Every photo we yeah, took, yeah. it looked like you just pasted our family into like a, a picture or something. It's so it's so true. very uh, interesting. It was, it was very interesting. And we'll cover that more maybe another episode. Yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But you know, every week me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship and bring things to a whole new level, right? A more positive and uplifting level. And hopefully your relationship will flourish even more than what it is now, possibly, right? And if you aren't in a relationship, don't worry. Keep these tips, tricks, and information in your back pocket. So when you're ready to get in that relationship, you've got all the winning chips in your pocket and ready to go. So when you guys need to use those cards, you can pull them out, you can utilize the information, and you guys will hopefully have a successful relationship without any issues. I always have the ace of spades in the back pocket. Ah. 
<laughs> and, and don't get me wrong. All relationships are going to go through trials and tribulations of some sort. Nobody's perfect. Truth. But if you have the you know some good information and an outline to go by, hopefully it'll save you guys some uh, some of these issues and problems that you might occur and the bumps along the way. But anyway, today we want to talk about something that's pretty important. I think if you're going to be in a relationship or you're getting into a relationship and it's getting serious, mm. right? And that is is basically moving in together. Uh, moving in together or maybe buying a house or renting an apartment or whatever it may be, you know, this is something that is, I think, very important for couples. And I think this is the true test in a lot of relationships because, you know... <laughs> I have, I'm sorry. I'm like, this is a true laugh of mine because as he's talking about this, because so I funny. literally, because I moved in with John, yeah. <laughs> ironically, yeah. we're talking yeah. about this, yeah. but it wasn't like, you know, a year later, or like two, five five years later it was literally i think i moved in well i started moving in some of my items right uh -huh. like some of the clothes and asked him to clear out like a drawer or two yeah like maybe was it about three weeks yeah i think it was three weeks it was about three weeks after we started dating i know it sounds crazy yeah. this is so untraditional me and john are incredibly untraditional individuals but yet it works for us right Okay. And everything works for every individual, yeah. right? Different things can work for different couples in different situations, right? <laughs> just, that's funny. just apply it to, you know, listen, you don't rush things in. And if no, you do rush do things, that. you better make sure that they're really good. I just that knew, point. that's all. It's just, you know, a lot of people don't do what we did. And that's what she's saying, we're un unconventional. <laughs> like, because usually people, people that move in that quick are usually going to have problems. They go through the honeymoon stage as they've moved in. And then after that, everything really starts breaking down. It's not even down. that. It's like when you you really, truly, it's. I know you guys have probably heard this a million times. You truly don't know somebody until you live with them, right? Yes. I, I don't care if you spend eight hours or ten hours a day with somebody. You do not know them until yeah. you live in a home or apartment yeah. or condo or wherever yeah. you guys are living yeah. together. And yeah. then you wake up in the morning and you see a routine. Where do they leave their clothes? How do they leave their toothbrush? Toothbrushes inside the thing like this. God only knows, you know? Yeah. I just, I- Do they leave the toilet seat up? Do they not? I mean, ah, you are gonna fall in, ladies? <laughs> that's not fun at 3 a.m., okay? Oh, Dunkin' Donuts for you. No Dunkin' Donuts here. <laughs> No, nope, don't like, I only like glazed donuts, but not at 3 a.m. in the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you know, moving in together is a huge step, right? One, this yeah. is a really, really big step because this is combining, you know, your living space with your partner's living space. And like Sharice said, you really don't know who, you, who you're living with or who you're going to be with until you really do live with somebody because there's no hiding things, right? You know, couples can go through dating and stuff like that, and at that point... I could have my house is a total mess on my end, and Sharice at that point could have had hers and was totally clean, which was vice versa probably. But at that point, you you, you know you really don't know, right? And so you go over, and even if you go over, sometimes they can straighten it up real quick before you come over, and like, oh, it's all straight, and that can you know that can last. But as soon as you leave, everything's just going all back over the place, right? Dish in the sink, whatever it may be. So as you move in together, you guys are gonna probably you know find the right place and find the location, and at that point, kind of talk about. Maybe, you know, some of the things you guys are going to do in the house. I mean, not only that, you got the uncomfortable talks, right? So the uncomfortable yeah. talks are, all right, how are we splitting the bills? Ooh. That's an uncomfortable discussion. I mean, not for Ooh. me personally, but we'll talk about finances in a whole nother episode because that is a truly a whole nother I think episode. It's, yeah, that's definitely a good one. That is going to be a good episode. How to bring up uh, uncomfortable financial situations. <laughs> but I mean, if you think yeah. about it, when you guys are moving into the same space, you gotta kind of talk about who's paying for what, right? right. Are we gonna split the rent 50-50? Are we gonna split the, the utilities? Name, utility, yeah, water's going you know? in my name. Hey, ladies, just so you know out there, make sure your name is on the deed of the house. Jeez. I don't care. Make sure it's on the deed of the house and or it, it will not be good for you. Well, I mean, at that point, listen, if uh, <laughs> if you're, you're gonna come in and you're gonna pay half the bills and stuff like that, yeah, I think that's absolutely correct. Not for nothing, I now, mean, yeah. if you're not paying all the bills and let's say it's this guy's house already and you're coming to move in. Different at that point, scenario. You know, you can't request them. Might like just bite, have to bite the bullet on right. that. Right, so you come, you move in, listen, you might be living rent free at that point, everything might work out in that scenario if that guy's, you know, well off and he's willing to take care of you. It's or vice versa for, scenarios. for girls and guys, right? Yeah, it, exactly. it, really, it really depends. That's what I mean, like, it's, there's so many different things to worry about, like, when, not worry, yeah. but like, discuss or like surpass or overcome when yeah. you move in with someone right yeah. like let's just get past the financial stuff okay cool put it to the side yeah. now you're going to talk about where are we placing all the stuff 
what kind of furniture are we putting in here? What if you guys don't agree on the same kind of colors? What if you guys don't like the same type of setup? What if one of you guys likes clutter and the next doesn't? It's, it's actually, believe it or not, because me and house, me and John are doing our house now, you know, we're building a home. It's been very easy because I'm a very easygoing woman. So I'm like, I don't care. Just just build it and make it just make it look cute. I think and I'm a I'm, lot more I'm, easygoing. <laughs> I let the wife pick out what she wants. I didn't care. I don't, I don't care. Just she don't care good. until it comes. I was like, I want this. Or why did you get this? Why didn't you like this? Yeah. I'm going to hear it later on. So the best thing to do is probably agree on at the beginning. So you're not being like, oh, just do what you want. Then we do what you want. Like, why did you do this? Why did you this? make so, it look this what's way? This? You know, what's this going on? Like, no, listen, the best thing to do is talk about it, be on the same page about things. And you know, if you're more more relaxed in the relationship as far as a guy and you're gonna let the girl do some of the decorating or whatever it is, that's fine too. Just you guys talk about it, communicate about it. Communicate. Talk communication is key, right? In every situation scenario. But you know, at that point you're gonna have to talk about maybe some other things too. Like, listen, when you start living with somebody and you guys start eating at the house, you guys are gonna have dishes, right? Now, if you're like my twelve year old son, he gets his little plate and still oh has all gosh. the stuff on it, and he puts it up on the counter still. I'm like, dude, you're not six years old. It's time for you to clean your plate off and to put it in the sink, right? Clean it off and then put it in the dishwasher. Now, guys ultimately can be messy, and I know some girls out there that can be messy too as well. They're not the cleanest people too either. It really depends on the individual. So that's another thing. You know, who's going to be doing some of these chores? Ooh. Who's going to be pitching in for some of these chores? Not it me. might not be something you guys talk about. It might be something that somebody's doing behind the scenes or, or doing without you guys saying. But eventually, I mean, you guys should probably share these duties in, in one way, shape, or form. Where, whether the woman's cooking and you're cleaning, or you're taking out the garbage, or whatever it is, you know, the whole point of that is laundry. You, you guys got to work together as a team. Teamwork. And that's something to talk about too. These responsibilities. And at that point, you know, it, it might be a different scenario than it is for us and how it works. And that's I mean, okay I have too. some people that have been together for, and I won't say any names. I'm sure if they watch the show, they'll know that I'm talking about them, but. You know, I've had some people have been together for two years and I just asked her the other day, I'm like, hey, are you gonna move in with this guy? Or like, what, what's yeah. going on? She's like, yeah. nope. She's like, I just like, I like my own space. That's okay too. That's okay too. You know, until you get maybe engaged or maybe married, you know, that's fine. Uh, you know, people still hang out at people's houses, right? So if they're dating, they might sleep over their girlfriend or boyfriend's house three or four nights a week. So they know to a certain extent maybe of how they're living in those three or four days. But like I said, until you're truly there 24 seven, right? Uh, through thick and thin, right? Good and bad. Mm -hmm. You're really not gonna know all the ins and outs of you know how this person really lives. But you will definitely get a crash course real early, I think within the first month or two for sure. Especially if you move in after three weeks. Yeah, 90 days you're gonna find <laughs> out everything. And then you know it's either gonna make things work even better or it might put some differences between you guys that you guys may need to talk out. Mm -hmm. You know, Some people get irritated by, by certain things or have pet peeves. and. They might not know that their partner has these peeves that they hate so much. Um, and at that point- It can be something as stupid as putting the toilet paper roll in. It like really does. one way this way yep. or the other way this way. It's true. And I'm telling you, some people have like the end of, that's the end of the world for them. I don't know why, but- I don't know why either. <laughs> don't know why. It toilet paper, toilet paper, today. roll it and pull it. Right, not right. that hard. I don't care one way or the other, it's getting unrolled, it, right? And you're gonna use it, right? So it's it. so irrelevant how it comes off the roll. This but is true. Whatever. This is so true. And then you know, even shopping and stuff like that, or what you guys are gonna get grocery wise and like- how much room you have left in the yeah. fridge to, you know, after somebody stacks up all their containers or whatever. Even budget wise, like what do you guys budgeting for your, your new location and for furniture and all this stuff. And then the next point comes is like Sheree said, you know, who's picking up the bill on these things? Are you guys splitting it as one person taking care of it per se? Um, <sighs> and you know, that's, that's gotta be worked out too. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what it is. You guys talk about it, you guys work it out, and, and that's how you come to... And there's not like a, a right or wrong alignment. way for any of this. No. There's like, you know, there's different scenarios for every single... Absolutely. Like couple. You know, you have one couple, they split the bills 50-50. Yep. You have one couple, one carries all the weight, one yep. does all the home stuff. This is true. You got another couple that does it a whole different way, you know. Who yeah. knows? Maybe their parents are paying for everything, and these this couple lives for free. That that's must true. be nice. I wouldn't know what that feels like, but I mean, I know that there are people out there that are for like that. For sure, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, it, it doesn't make a wrong to a right. It's just something that needs to be brought up so Absolutely. that there's no assuming. Don't ever assume. Involved. Yep. Always talk about it. Be confident about things, and uh, hopefully they'll work their ways out. I mean, that's that's just is what it is. Uh, and if you guys are buying a new home or, or something like that, and you guys are going that distance, maybe you guys are engaged at that point, married at that point. 
you know, it's still, you guys need to talk about things and, and hopefully you guys will work things out before you move in the house. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to work everything out, okay? Even if you have some of these talks, mm -hmm. there might be something you didn't even think about that's going to pop up and come about. And at that point, you guys are going to have to deal with that situation or scenario when it does. Like what? I don't know. It could be anything. It could be <laughs> like, uh, Example. Example. Um, all right, so you leave the TV on all day. Our electric bill is going to be through the roof because you don't turn off the TV every time you use it. It's annoying. It's costing us more money. I want this to change immediately. You, you know, on that topic, just so you know, some people don't even have TVs in their bedrooms yeah. on purpose. No TVs in the bedroom. Then you have. Then you find out that somebody sleeps with the TV on all night. They can't go to sleep unless the TV's on, this is right? True. And then you have the next one that's like, "Well, I can't sleep if the TV's on." So what are we gonna do? You gonna go sleep downstairs now? Yeah. Is that what's gonna happen? You know, the the other thing is too is uh, like I've seen like uh, they've got these shows and one was like cheapskates, and you know basically oh that was God. like people that would just save any little bit of money and go out of their way to do it and do some really kind of nasty things, maybe possibly diving, to accomplish it. And you know there was there was this couple on there and, and the girl was real, you know she was real cheap. And she would do anything to save a dollar. I think it cost her like fifteen thousand dollars to live for a whole year, you know. And the guy was just like, "Listen, he's like, I can't live like this anymore. Um, I understand this is how you live, and I love you, but you know what? This just is not for me, and I can't take it anymore." And that's just that's another good example. Like, you yeah. know, you're gonna do some different things, and people, you know, they're gonna accept you or don't accept you for it. So, you know, that's the main point. The main point is talk it out. Make sure you guys think about some of these different variables that could happen if you guys, you know progressive relationship down the road and you guys move in together. So just take into consideration, if you guys have been through this experience before, learn from it, take all that great knowledge and apply it forth to your new relationship and hopefully your new home together. All right? Oh, sounds like fun. And anybody that's questioning this stuff on my hands. She's okay. got Hannah from a wedding. <laughs> the Mendy, yeah, right? Yeah. From the Indian wedding that I attended. Yeah. So it's the first time I was actually able to embrace my culture just a bit. Yeah. So, Sorry and all. Yeah, you're welcome, Mom. Anyway, <laughs> so we appreciate you guys all tuning in. We'll be here for you guys every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. And if you didn't miss it live, don't worry, you guys can DVR it. And if you didn't do that, don't worry, we got your back. Just go to YouTube, right in tight Medical Center, press the subscribe button, hit the all notification button, watch all these great Cupid Corners, get all that great information, and see all of our other cool content that we have for you guys. We're going out of our way to make it entertaining for you guys and educational and informational. So I appreciate you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.